Good morning ladies. You are listening to Reading Friday Ephesians chapter 3. So why don't you grab your Bible, your coffee, sit back and let's read the Bible together. This is Elohim Aimi podcast. Hey, it's Linda and welcome to Elohim Aimi podcast. If you want to hear how God is with all of us all the time then this is your podcast. It's going to be the longest journey showing you how Lord Jesus Christ can transform, motivate, guide, carry all of us. And hey, following his ways is freedom. Do you want to know how? Stay tuned with me for more. And this is me making my childhood dream of sharing the word of God with the world. And I hope it helps. And if you want to learn even more, hit the links in the description after the episode or just google it's lenslife.com. Now let's dive in. Good morning lovely ladies. Welcome to a reading Friday episode. So do you know do you realize that we are going to finish another book from the New Testament from the Bible by this week at the, by the and we are going to begin a new book from the new testament i feel so blessed to read this with you ladies as well so i hope you are reading the a book with me together daily so once i read this today's chapter of ephesians 3 i will let you know which one we are going to begin next so take your bible open it to ephesians chapter 3 so let's la- read it together ephesians chapter 3 ephesians chapter 3 for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of god which is given me to you at how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i wrote afore in few words whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promises in Christ by the gospel whereof i was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of god given unto me by the effectual working of his power unto me whom who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world hath been di- hid in god who created all things by jesus christ to the intent that now unto the principalities and power in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of god according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in christ jesus our lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him wherefore i decide that ye faint not at my tribulations for you which is your glory for this cause i bow my knees unto the father of our lord jesus christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that we would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that he might be filled with all the fullness of God now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end amen 
I really love Book of Ephesians. This is one of my favorite book from the Bible, Book of Ephesians. It is such a hard, 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 hard task to understand each word from this uh, this book. I actually uh, shared a uh, Bible and, um, study note of this chapter actually. But I did. I let me tell you, I didn't complete Ephesians Bible study at all. Uh, I think I completed till four, chapter four. And still, it's there to complete because of that um, depth of difficulty to understand. I took a step backward uh, to learn this book. I thought to take a small gap before continuing finishing this chapter. That much difficult, and it has such a powerful meaning. I love that book uh, which is your favorite book from the bible uh, if you don't mind please let me know which is your favorite book it's one of my favorite Ephesians. such a great chapter so uh we completed Ephesians. we read we read Ephesians chapter 3 please continue to read other chapters as well once you're done with Ephesians, we are going to begin with philippians yes so once uh, you're done with Ephesians, please start with Philippians. I guess uh, we will be, um, when we will be, uh, maybe Tuesday, I think Tuesday. Yeah. Anyways, I will be sharing as I uh, days goes, I will be sharing uh, the week three um, screenshot a uh, week three list in the Elohim Ami Instagram page so if you have confusion you can definitely um, make up uh, make to there and uh, you can see that so whenever the new chapter is beginning I will be adding a post in the Elohim Ami Instagram page so uh, you will also be able to uh, catch up with me you know so we are here we completed Ephesians chapter 3 and please continue to read and once Ephesians is done please start with Philippians and I will be seeing all of you on the next uh, Friday with um, the the representative chapter from the book of Philippians and uh, yeah so I hope you will be reading and remember God is with you and me all the time this is Elohim I me podcast Joshua 1 9 Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You might have doubts, you might have troubles, but the woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This is Elohim Aimi Podcast. Mm-hmm.